Hi, and it's Claire Maxfield here from Image Innovators. And in honour of it being Valentine's Day today, I thought I'd talk about kissing in the workplace. Now, when I talk about kissing in the workplace, I'm not talking about grabbing someone, dragging them down the corridor to the stationary machine or the stationary room and hiding behind the printer and having a good snog. No, I'm talking about greeting someone. What is the difference between a handshake a chest tap, a hug, and a kiss. Because depending on which culture you're from, all four are acceptable. I think we'll find that after the last few years we've had, in some cultures, in some places, many people are more happy with a hi, how are you? Some people are still not touching overly. I think generally the handshake is still the most accepted But should you be a kisser or a hugger, just be aware of the person you're greeting. Not everyone jumps at the opportunity to kiss or hug someone they've never met before. So check out your client's body language. If you see any sign of a stiffening, turn it around to a handshake. But if you are and they're happy, there is nothing wrong with a, you know, a a hug from side to side. You see some guys, they come in with the arms, they come in like this, or some people, there's a peck cheek to cheek. Some cultures, it's nose to nose, forehead to forehead. But just be aware when you're in a corporate environment, uh, it might be best to give the age-old handshake if you want to, if you're greeting someone, and if it's a more casual, personal then the greeting is up to you, but just be aware that you're sure that the person you're sharing your hug, your kiss with, is as comfortable with it as you are. So no matter what you do today, Valentine's Day or not, if you can't be with those you love, just love the ones you're with. Have a fabulous day. Claire Maxfield here from Image Innovators. We've got tools, training and resources for image consultants all around the globe. Bye for now.